prevention of police burn as soon as one sperm has entered the egg the fusibility of the egg membrane which was so necessary to get the sperm inside the egg become a dangerous liability in zoogenesis as in most animal study any sperm that enters the egg can provide a haploid nucleus and a centriole to the egg in normal monospermia in which only one sperm enters the egg a haploid sperm nucleus and a haploid egg nucleus combine to form the diploid nucleus of the fertilized egg or zygote this restoring the chromosome number appropriate for the species the centriole which is provided by the sperm will divide to form the two poles of the mitotic spindle during cleavage the entrance of multi hmm, wait a minute the centriole which is provided by the sperm will divide to form the two poles of the mitotic spindle during cleavage the entrance of multiple sperm polyspermy leads to disastrous consequences in most organisms in the sea urchin fertilization by two sperm results in a triploid nucleus in which each chromosome is represented three times rather than twice worse since each sperm centriole divides to form the two poles of a mitotic apparatus instead of a bipolar mitotic spindle appearing the chromosome into two cells the triploid chromosomes may be divided into as many as four cells because there is no mechanism to ensure that each of the four cells receives the proper number and type of chromosomes the chromosomes would be up, apportioned unequally some cells receive extra copies of certain chromosomes and other cells lack them species have evolved ways to prevent the union of more than two haploid nuclei the most common way is to prevent the entry of more than one sperm entry into the egg the chn egg has two mechanisms to avoid polyspermia the fast a fast reaction accompanied by an electric change in the egg plasma membrane and a slower reaction caused by the exocytosis of the cortical granule the fast block to polyspermia is achieved by changing the electric potential of the egg plasma membrane this membrane provides a selective barrier between the egg cytoplasm and outside environment and ionic concentration of the egg differs greatly from that of its surroundings this concentration difference is especially special significant for sodium and potassium ions sea water has a particularly high sodium ion concentration whereas the egg cytoplasm contains relatively little sodium the reverse is the case with potassium ions this condition is maintained by the plasma membrane which steadfastly inhibits the entry of sodium ions into the oocyte and prevents potassium ions from leaking out into the environment if we insert an electrode into an egg and place a second electrode outside it we can measure the constant difference in charge across the egg plasma membrane this resting membrane potential is generally about minus 70 mv usually expressed as minus 70 mv because the inside of the egg cell is negatively charged in with respect to exterior within 1 to 3 seconds after the binding of the first sperm the membrane potential shifts to a positive level about plus 20 mv this change is caused by a small influx of sodium ions into the egg although sperm can fuse with membranes having a resting potential of minus 70 mv they cannot fuse with membranes having a positive resting potential so no more sperm can fuse to the egg it is not known whether the increased sodium permeability is due to the binding of the first sperm or to the fusion of its of the first sperm with the egg the importance of sodium ions and the change in resting potential was demonstrated by Rorinda Jeff and colleagues they found that polyspermy can be induced if sea urchin eggs are artificially supplied with an electro electric current that keeps their membrane potential negative conversely fertilization can be prevented entirely by artificially keeping the membrane potential of eggs positive then the slow blocked polyspermy the eggs of sea urchin and many other animals have a second mechanism to ensure that multiple sperm do not enter the egg cytoplasm the fast block to polysperm is transient since the membrane potential of a sea urchin egg remains positive only for about a minute the brief potential shift is not sufficient to prevent polysperm which can still occur if the sperm bound to the epithelial and venula are not somehow removed this removal is accomplished by the cortical granule reaction a slower mechanical block to polysperm that becomes active about a minute after the first successful sperm egg attachment Directly beneath the sea urchin egg plasma membrane are about fifteen thousand cortical granules, each about below beneath the sea urchin egg plasma membrane. 
granules are there, cortical granules, each about 1 mu m in diameter. Upon sperm enter this cortical granules fuse with the egg plasma membrane and release their contents into the space between the plasma membrane and the fibrous matter of which line and love proteins. Several proteins are released by this cortical granule exocytosis. The first are proteases. These enzymes dissolve the protein posts that connect the etalin envelope proteins to the cell membrane and they flip off the bindin receptor and any sperm attached to it. Mucopolysaccharides released by the cortical granule produce an osmotic gradient that causes water to rush into the space between the plasma membrane and the vitelline envelope, causing the envelope to expand and become the fertilization envelope. The third protein released by the cortical granule, a peroxidase enzyme, hardens the fertilization envelope by cross-linking tyrosine residues and adjacent proteins. So, mucopolysaccharides released by the cortical granule produce an osmotic gradient that causes water to rush into the space between plasma membrane and vitelline envelope, causing the envelope to expand and become the fertilization envelope. The third protein released by the cortical granule, a peroxidase enzyme, hardens the fertilization envelope by cross-linking tyrosine residues on adjacent proteins. The fertilization envelope starts to form at the site of sperm entry and continues its expansion around the egg. As it forms, the bound sperms are released from the envelope. This process starts about 20 seconds after sperm attachment and is complete by the end of the first minute of fertilization. Finally, a fourth cortical granule protein, hyaline, forms a coating around the egg. The egg again extends along elongated microvilli whose tips attached to its hyaline layer. This layer provides support for the blastomas during cleavage. Then in mammals, the cortical granule reaction does not create a fertilization envelope, but its ultimate effect is the same. Released enzymes modify the zona pellucida sperm receptors such as they can no longer bind sperm. During this process, color the zona reaction, both Zp3 and Zp2 are modified. So Florman and Heisenman, Wesselman, in 1985 have proposed that the cortical granule of mouse eggs contain an enzyme that clip off the terminal sugar residues of Zp3 thereby releasing bound sperm from the zona and preventing the attachment to attachment of others. So cortical granules of mouse eggs have been found to contain N-acetyl glucosaminidase enzymes capable of cleaving N-acetyl glucosamine from Zp3 carbohydrate chains. N-acetyl glucosamine is one of the carbohydrate groups that sperms can bind to and Miller and co-workers in 1992 to 1993 have demonstrated that when the N-acetyl glucosamine residues are removed at fertilization, Zp3 will no longer serve as a substrate for the binding of other sperm. Zp2 is clipped by the cortical granule protease and loses its ability to bind sperm as well as as well. Thus, once a sperm has entered the egg, other sperm can no longer initiate or maintain their binding to the zona pellucida and are radically shed. Calcium is the medi as the mediator of the cortical granule reaction. The mechanism of cortical granule reaction is similar to that of acrosomal reaction. Upon fertilization, the intracellular calcium ion concentration of the egg increases greatly. In this high calcium environment, the cortical granule membranes fuse with the egg plasma membrane, releasing their contents. Once the fusion of the cortical granule begins near the point of sperm entry, a wave of cortical granule exocytosis propagates around the cortex into the opposite side of the egg.